Dobra, to jest co może mogło tak, żeby tutaj nie siedział, okej, okay, dobra, może być. Grzegorz zacznie, okej. Okay. Hello, hello. Przejdź tu, bo ja muszę troszeczkę się przesunąć, bo ja potrzebuję troszeczkę więcej miejsca. Wiatr, dwuchnie mocniej, dwuchnie wiatr, to ci to zdłuchnie. Jak wiatr...
serdecznie wszystkich Państwa na bardzo wyjątkowej uroczystości, którą będzie otwarcie pomnika generała Tadeusza Kościuszki w Nowym Jorku, pierwszego pomnika generała Tadeusza Kościuszki w mieście Nowy Jork. Będziemy tą ceremonię prowadzić w języku angielskim, z racji tego, że mamy tutaj dużo gości a, anglojęzycznych i media anglojęzyczne, także yy, przeniesiemy się teraz na język angielski. We are gathered here today for a historic ceremony of the unveiling of the first statue dedicated to Tadeusz Kościuszko in New York City. I would like to welcome all of our elected officials, community leaders, members of the Department of Transportation, members of the media, and all of our wonderful teachers and students from local schools, members of scout organizations, Polaski cadets, and everyone that has gathered here today to witness this historic event. November 6, 2021 will without a doubt be remembered as one of the greatest days in the 150-year-old history of Polish Americans in New York City. We will begin our ceremony with signing, singing of the national anthems. First, I would like to invite one of the distinguished artists, Mr. Tomaszek Bednarek, to sing the national anthem of the United States of America. each and every one of you. When you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last evening whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous sky, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still Oh, say does that star spangle the Hannah yet wave For the land of the free and the home of the Thank you so much, Tomaszek. Now I would like to invite Ms. Halina Kalitka to sing the national anthem of the Republic of Poland. Mamy masz, masz Tambrowski, ziemi włoskiej, to Polski, za twoim przewodem złączym się narodem. Masz, masz Tambrowski, ziemi włoskiej, do Polski, za twoim przewodem 
so won't him shell not all them. Now I would like to invite Mr. Artur Dubanovsky, the president of the Polaski Association of Business and Professional Men, uh, to make a speech. Thank you, Greg. Good afternoon. I would like to welcome all the distinguished guests. I'm pleased to be here as the president of Polaski Association of Business and Professional Men, together with Marek Skolimowski, the president of the Krosiuszko Foundation, and Honorable John Lentil, without whom the square and the statue would not be made possible. Joe, thank you so much for always supporting us, putting your community first. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Last but not least, I would like to thank our member, Darius Knapik, who is not able to be here with us today, for his hard work and commitment to this historic project. Thank you, Darius. I hope you're gonna watch us on TV. Today we welcome you all to Kosciuszko Square to pay respect and, and acknowledge the achievements of the men whose statue we're here to unveil. The handcraft craft sculpture produced in Poland commemorates the life and achievement of Tadeusz Kosciuszko for whom this beautifully renovated bridge is named after. And what a remarkable way to acknowledge his efforts as the bridge between America and its freedom. I say this because 245 years ago, Tadeusz Kosciuszko arrived on the shores of the colonies from Poland to aid his friends in the American Revolution. It is by his efforts during the Battle of Saratoga that the tides of the war shifted in favor of the Americans and propelled it forward to victory. Often acknowledged as the architect of the US military, Tadeusz Kosciuszko designed what it is today, the greatest military academy at West Point. However, what is probably least notable known about his influence in the freedom we enjoy today is that Tadeusz Kosciuszko was an advocate for civil, civil liberties, those same liberties we continue to fight for today. He, as one of the very few men of his time, denounced the notion of slavery. Imagine, 245 years ago, a man from Poland exhibiting the courage and the strength to fight not only for the freedom of the colonies, but to also, at the same time, question their authority in an effort to bring for justice for all. We are proud to stand here today, many of us, myself included, Polish immigrants and Polish Americans, all of us descendants of the great Tadeusz Kosciuszko. As a united organization of Polish businessmen, we strive every day to embody those same principles, to fight for his right and just, to perform at our best and to make a difference in the lives of the people and communities we serve. Today we honor you, Tadeusz Kosciuszko, with the statue and hope that as a country we can unite against injustices, biases, and be proud of the country we live and serve in. Let us never forget the close ties that bind Poland and America from its foundation. For over 245 years, Poles have made enormous contributions across the entire country to the success of this great nation. Here locally, let us celebrate today our enormous dedication and effort to build the rich communities of Brooklyn, Queens, and the entire city, but especially the community of Greenpoint, the heart of Polonia. Wherever we find ourselves, may we always honor the values, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arthur, and thank you, Pulaski Association of Business and Professional Men, for your input in creating this beautiful statue here today. Thank you so much. Uh, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Marek Skulimowski, who is the president of Kosciuszko Foundation, uh, another organization that helped uh, with building of the statue. 
Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everybody, joining us today, this sunny day. And thank you, all the partners involved in this project. I would like also to mention one important or institution, state institution that was involved. It's the New York State Department of Transportation. Without them, we wouldn't be celebrating today the unveiling of the monument. And who knows what would be the name of that bridge without them. So I remember the first meeting. There was um, different names thrown around, even K Bridge. I wouldn't dare to say W Bridge on the other side of Manhattan. It's absolutely George Washington Bridge, and this one is Tadeusz Kościuszko Bridge, just to make sure. It's not K Bridge. This park should be not named K Park under whatever. No, uh, Park under the K Bridge. No, it's Park under the Kościuszko, from the Kościuszko Bridge. So just to make sure. And I would like to add a couple of words about Tadeusz Kościuszko. Uh, a message from the chairman of the board of trustees of the Kościuszko Foundation and the author of a uh, best, uh, best-selling book about uh, Tadeusz Kościuszko, Alex Storozhinsky. There are more statues of, of Tadeusz Kościuszko in America than any historical figure except for George Washington. Every day, millions of New York TV and ra radio listeners hear about traffic jams on the Kościuszko Bridge. Yet few know about, his, about this revolutionary war hero and champion of human rights. Kościuszko gave his salary from the American Revolution to th Thomas Jefferson and told him to buy slaves and free them. Kościuszko fought for the rights of Serbs, slaves, Jews, Native Americans, and women. A military strategist, Kościuszko plan won the Battle of Saratoga, the turning point of the war. He also built Fortress of West Point, which Benedict Arnold tried to sell to British in the most infamous act of treason in American history. When Kościuszko spoke up for Native Americans, Chief Little Turtle gave him a peace pie, pipe and tomahawk. In 1791, when Poland passed the first democratic constitution in Europe, Russian, Austrian, Prussian monarchs sent armies to crush this new democracy. Kościuszko led an army against the invaders to fight for the right for peasants, burgess, and Jews. His ally, Berek Yoselewicz, formed the first holy Jewish military union since biblical times and called Kościuszko a messenger from God. Muslims, even black, named men named jean louis Lapierre traveled to Poland to join Kościuszko Multicultural Revolution. In his quest for liberty, Kościuszko worked with, worked with George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and French revolutionaries while struggling against the tyranny of Russia's Catherine the Great and Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon called Kościuszko the hero of the North, and the Russian Charina Catherine offered a reward from anyone who could capture him dead or alive. Jefferson called Kościuszko a pure son of liberty I have ever known, and you can find it on that monument. So again, thank you to all the organization, all those involved, and I, I would like to add and welcome the representatives of the Department of Transportation, uh, Olga Clayman, Craig Royal, Tadeusz Alberski, with whom we were working closely on this project, uh, and Robert Adams, I'm not sure if he's here, former project director uh, of the New York Department of Transportation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mark and the Kosciuszko Foundation. Uh, as you know, to, to build a statue in New York City, it's a, it's a really tough challenge, uh, and it's a long road uh, that needs to be paved by many organizations, by many people, and by many individuals and advocates of such a project. And uh, our hero, one of the heroes of, of this statue, uh, of uh, producing this statue, making sure that we have this beautiful day today, which is probably one of the most important days of the history of Polonia in New York City, was our New York State Assemblyman, Joseph Lento. Joseph, without you, the statue would probably wouldn't be here. So please, say a couple of words. Thank you.
Well, I want to welcome everybody to the capital of Polonia, Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I'm sorry, all of you from Long Island. <laughs> and New Jersey. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out on such a beautiful day. I don't want to be repetitive of what has been said. So uh, you've learned a lot about Tadeusz Kosciuszko. Now, if you come from Greenpoint and you're not Polish, you don't know who he is because you're not saying it right. It's Kosciuszko in Greenpoint. But we know that it's actually Kosciuszko. And I learned at a very early time in my career in Albany about the great Brigadier General Tadeusz Kosciuszko, because some of you may not know that there's also a bridge up in Saratoga called the Twin Bridges, but they're actually named for Tadeusz Kosciuszko. But even after all of that, people don't know all of what you've heard here today about how we have this war hero who was fighting for equality of man before it was popular to do so. And if he wasn't in the United States of America doing it, he was in Belarus fighting for the equality of man. And he also went to Poland to fight for equality there. And I'm very proud of the fact, since I'm half Lithuanian, that he was one of the freedom fighters in Lithuania to fight for freedom of man and equality of man. And ladies and gentlemen, we live in a time when they're taking statues down. But we know that there never, you heard what Arthur said about freeing the slaves. They'll never, ever take this statue down because there wasn't a man equal to Brigadier Tadeusz Kosciuszko in fighting for the equality of everyone. So I was proud to work with uh, my colleagues, Artur Dibanowski and the association, the Pulaski Association of Businessmen and Professional Men, and the Kosciuszko Foundation, uh, Marek. Thank you, Marek. And I know that Darius would be here. Um, we kicked this off to get this done with a very nice lunch, at, by the way, at Karchma. That's how they got it done. They took me to lunch. <laughs> but I'm very proud to say that this has been the honor of my life, to represent the Polish community of Greenpoint and all of Greenpoint. And uh, I love this community. You have supported me over the years. And I just want to say that I am so, so grateful for the support that you have given me, even though I am no longer in office. And so, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me, but I love you all, and I'll continue to be a supporter of the Polish community and the Greenpoint community as long as I have strength. Thank you very much. And one last word. I know that uh, Marek mentioned the Department of Transportation. A lot of people were involved there, but we also have a community person. Is she still here? <laughs> so please come up so everybody can see you. So this woman was the uh, liaison for the Department of Transportation to the Department of Transportation from the Greenpoint community. And uh, I can't say enough about her. She was really there when we needed her. Would you like to say something to the crowd? Um, I am taken <laughs> by, <laughs> by this, by surprise. Um, I, am very, I was very happy to work at the project and to help our community to Hi, get the, um, to get the park underneath the bridge as well as to get this, um, uh, you know, this, uh, this monument and this uh, triangle. That's I think great. that um, we 
should be looking at it and we should all as we are here we should look at it and see how in the future we're going to maintain it and we'll go forward to so that it will still stay beautiful that's one of my things is please maintain it and make sure that it stays the same for years to come thank you and i save the best for last her name is christine hollowatz <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much Thank you so much, Christine. Thank you, Joe. Uh, it was great uh, hearing from you. Um, right now, we're going to cut the ribbon. And we're actually going to unveil the monument. We're going to have more speeches after the, afterwards. So, of course, don't, don't uh, disperse. Uh, so I would like to ask uh, the people behind us to kind of clear the area. If you can. And I would like to have uh, <coughs> Joe Lento, if you can uh, come up, uh, Artur Dybanowski, Marek Skulimowski, and the Council General of Poland, uh, Mr. Adrian Kubicki, to do the honors of uh, cutting the ribbon of the new and the first Tadeusz Kościuszko monument in New York City. You can definitely save a piece as a souvenir. It is a historic one. It will be probably worth a lot of money in the future. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we'd like to have, uh, yeah, please, media, take a picture. This is a historic moment. Thank you so much. Uh, now I would like to have uh, our father uh, from the uh, St. Stan's Church over here in Greenway to bless the monument. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. On this beautiful day for the Polish-American people in Greenpoint, let us raise our voices in prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for countless blessings, especially for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, for the Church, for our faith, and now for our um, hero, Tadeusz Kościuszko. Uh, bless this monument and those who um, prepare it, and we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Thank you, Father. So we can consider this monument officially unveiled. Welcome to, Bru to Bru Brooklyn, to Greenpoint, to Dennis Kosciuszko. Thank you so much. We're we definitely going to have more singing later, so uh, stay around and uh, prepare some more songs. Right now, I would like to invite uh, the Council General of the Republic of Poland, Mr. Adrian Kubicki, to say a couple of words. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. 
huge congratulations to each and every one of you uh, who were involved in this, in creating uh, this beautiful monument, this beautiful statue, and making this event. Um, it's a beautiful day. Uh, somehow we feel like this is a blessing from heaven that we have such a beautiful weather uh, in this in this early November Saturday afternoon. This event is special. Uh, in so many dimensions. First of all, this is unbelievable that this, that this is happening. So we finally have a Kościuszko statue here in Greenpoint uh, so late. Uh, we feel that this place should have the statue of Kościuszko for so long already. Uh, and this is also so special that we have this statue here, right by the bridge that is behind my back. Because no matter what other people say, this is not a K bridge or, or any other uh, bridge. This is a Kościuszko bridge, and we should, be, we should proudly pronounce the, the name of Kościuszko and, and spell the, the name, the full name of this bridge. And I feel that this statue, this, this monument, puts the final stamp, and this is a final confirmation of the proper, uh, proper name of, of not just the bridge, but, but generally this, this beautiful um, and, and very rapidly developing uh, area. We know that uh, Greenpoint uh, has been a Polish community for over 150 years, uh, and we are still here, despite um, many different events in the history. We know that people are Polish people are spreading; they're moving to other locations, to other neighborhoods. But this is. Uh, something that we would like to call uh, in some future, feasible future, Little Poland. Something that will always have this association with wonderful Polish community. Community that contributed in such a profound way uh, to, the, to the greatness of, of the New York City. Uh, and this is so important to, to gather here. I hope that this place will be one of those places where we will meet uh, every year, at least every year. Uh, to show off our Polish pride with Polish colors, with Polish flags. Um, and by the way, we know that this neighborhood is changing so much. And, and we know that in a couple of years, this will be a pearl in the crown of Brooklyn. Uh, so it's great that we put this statue here before anyone else, and we claim this land as Polish land and the land of Tadeusz Kościuszko. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day ahead. Uh, let's remember of our heroes, let's come here, let's take care, let's, let's maintain this place, because this is also important. To, this is just the beginning. Um, we have to keep it up right now, so, so this is our obligation, uh, but this day is full of joy. I would like to again thank Mr. Lentil for, for his hard work and, and support to Polish community, everyone who was involved uh, in making this event happen, organizations, it's so beautiful to see so many of you, not only from New York, but we, uh, I, I heard we have people from, from Philadelphia, many friends of, of Poland, and it's good to know that we also have friends of Poland among authorities, uh, local authorities on the state level, on the, on the city level. Uh, this is very important. Uh, it's good that you, that, that you are coming here to meet with us. Uh, please uh, stay along. Uh, we have a lot of projects that we want to pursue in the future. And as I said, this is not our last statue, not our last uh, monument, and, and this is definitely not uh, the, the last of, of Polish initiatives in this neighborhood. Thank you very much. Uh, I wish you a great and blessed day. Thank you so much, Mr. Council General. We really appreciate it. Uh, if I can just have everybody move one or two steps back to give us some space, please. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit to the side. Exactly, please. Thank you for the media. We want to definitely have good pictures and uh, good footage from this event, as it is history, uh, made, being made, made in Greenpoint. As, uh, um, as you know, Greenpoint, uh, again, we talked about this over and over, 100 years, 150 years we've been here, and the Polish people uh, not only lived in this neighborhood, but some of the most important organizations, Polish-American organizations, uh, are headquartered over here. And one of those organizations is the Polish and Slavic Federal Credit Union, uh, and the CEO of the organization is here with us to say a couple of words, Mr. Bogdan Kwilewski, please. 
Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the Polish and Slavic Credit Union, the management, but also 107,000 members, who are some of them are here with us, I'd like to thank all of the sponsors, all of those people who contributed to, the, to today's event and to the creation of such a wonderful uh, monument. Thank you very much to the Puaski Businessmen uh, Association. Thank you very much to the Kościuszko Foundation. Uh, thank you very much to one individual whose name was mentioned today many times, to Joseph Lentos. He was a long-time assemblyman, but what's most important, he's a long-time friend of the Polish-American community. Joe, thank you very much. Of course, <laughs> thank you very much to all of the elected officials, Department of Transportation. It's a great moment for our community. And uh, I really appreciate to all of those who contributed to that. And I also thankful and grateful that uh, Polonia, I, as a credit union, we have a friendly competitors in sponsoring Polish-American events. Tadeusz <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kościuszko have a number of core values which we uh, also shared. Uh, we're talking about independence, freedom, justice, equi equality, patriotism. We all uh, pretend to share those values. Uh, the only question what arises today and what I try to answer myself is, are the interpretation of those values today is the same as it was in the 18th century? Uh, is the interpretation the same as Tadeusz Kościuszko believed in, fight for, and died for? This is the question what I encourage all of you to answer today. And in conclusion, I just want to ask all of you to be here not only today, not only tomorrow, but on all, of, all of those days when someone will try to remove the monument or destroy the monument. We have to fight for it, it's our monument, and we have to be here to, uh, to defend the monument. Please remember that, as I said, today, tomorrow, five years from now, and ten years from now. And uh, let me say a few words in the native language of Tadeusz Kościuszko at the end. Powtórzę tylko ostatnie zdanie, które powiedziałem po angielsku. Drodzy Państwo, piękna uroczystość, jesteśmy wszyscy dzisiaj, ale pamiętajmy o tym, że musimy być tutaj też 5-10 lat od dzisiaj. Jeżeli ktoś kiedykolwiek, z jakiegokolwiek powodu zechce usunąć ten pomnik albo zniszczyć. Dziękuję bardzo i życzę udanego dnia. Dziękuję. Thank you so much, Bogdan, and thank you for everything that the Polish Islamic Union is doing for the community uh, all over the United States, as a matter of fact. Um, we are here in Brooklyn, uh, but we are next to the Kościuszko Bridge that connects Brooklyn and Queens. And uh, there's been a debate, you know, why is it named Kościuszko? Uh, nobody can really pronounce it, especially when you listen to traffic report on the news. Uh, and the reason the Kościuszko Bridge is named after Kościuszko is because it connected two Polish neighborhoods. Greenpoint and Masted. Long time ago, 100 years ago. It's been rebuilt, renovated, and just newly opened. So this ceremony would not be uh, full if we wouldn't have a representative from Queens from the other side of the bridge. And uh, thank, thank you, uh, Mr. Robert Hood and the City Council, a good friend of Polonia, great friend of Polonia. Thank you for being here with us. We would like to ask you to say a couple of words. And I'll keep it short, but yes, I represent the other side. Uh, the queen side, which I, I want a statue of Kosciuszko on the other side. So you, you have something to work on. But more importantly, we are joined also by Rita Cosby, Pol great Polish-American, and Curtis Sliwa, by the way. <laughs> Joe Curtis. Um, again, uh, I knew how to pronounce, and Joe, you, I knew how to pronounce uh, Kosciuszko rather than Kosciuszko because... I went to a Polish-American school, and the Sisters of the Holy Nazareth taught us, and they taught us about General Kosciuszko, by the way. They did, we did have a lot of lessons, so I knew all the history. And the reason why I'm here today, not only to represent Queens, my side, um, and I'm a good friend of Joe Lento, who got hit with some holy water, so you don't, I think you did, you got splashed? He's going to heaven now, he's, he's officially going to heaven. You, you got hit, I saw some... But he, he's, he's a great friend. I wish we, he was still in the assembly fighting for us. I do. And uh, I, I know the Polish is a great friend of the Polish-Americans, as is uh, so many others, the future speakers here. But I, get, I have the Kosciuszko Foundation a challenge, which I will help. Uh, we should have a statue of Thaddeus Kosciuszko in City Hall. 
Um, and they want to remove Thomas Jefferson. I'm, I'm against that, but I'm also for including more great, um, ag again, people that, and generals that helped us win our war for independence. There would be probably no United States if it wasn't for the generals uh, Pulaski and, and Kosciuszko. So I just want to recognize that. And let's teach it in our schools. And, and why I'm so at home, because uh, I do have a very large Polish community uh, and the, uh, the Slav Polish and Slavic Bank also uh, in, uh, in Maastricht, uh, which we're trying to grow even more than, and have the main branch there. I don't know if that'll happen, but maybe. Maybe we grow a little bit. But we have a great Polish-American community, which uh, growing up, most of my friends were Polish, like I mentioned many times. So I'm very at home with the Polish-Americans. I do have a little bit of Polish blood. Um, but uh, the speakers that are next, obviously, uh, are Polish-Americans and great Polish-Americans. I just want to thank you, and I'm really at home here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Robert. Really appreciate it. We love the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Queens connection, uh, especially that another bridge that connects Brooklyn and Queens is named after Pulaski that you mentioned. So we really specialize in, uh, in connecting and building bridges. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, our next speaker. Uh, is a uh, New York Times best-selling author and TV host, a radio host, and great patriot. And uh, we call her an ambassador uh, of Polish issues in, uh, in American media. Please welcome <laughs> Asby. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to first say thank you and congratulations, first of all, uh, to all the hard work of the Pulaski Business Association. Um, obviously, Joe Lentil, you have been such a great supporter. Thank you for all you do. You are just amazing. Uh, the Kozhushko Foundation by my dear friend Mark Zolomowski, Archer, thank you for all of you do. Um, also, Rafael Mishkevich, I would be remiss. You are one of the greatest patriots coming here from Warsaw. Thank you dearly. Adrian, our wonderful counsel. Um, and of course, the great uh, Greg Frick and Councilman Holden, thank you so much. Um, I know you have Polish blood running through you. I know it, I know it. There's at least 10 or 20 percent because you are such a great patriot. Um, I just want to first say that I am so happy at a time in the news business, as my friend Curtis knows so well, um, we sit there and we are talking constantly about the divisions in this country and how beautiful and how fortuitous that it's the Polish-American community that is bringing everybody together and at a time where there is such incredible division, there is nobody, I don't think, in the world who would dispute that Kijushka was one of the greatest heroes, one of the greatest unifiers in the world, one of the greatest people who really bridges all cultures, all religions, all creeds. And at a time where statues are being torn down all over the world, there is no one who would say that Kijushka should not be moved up and elevated and that is the epitome, and I think it's such a testament to our incredible heritage, our incredible spirit. And it says so much about who all of us are, the best of Polonia, the best of Polish Americans, and the best, I think, and one of the greatest human beings ever, Thaddeus Kuzhushko. <laughs> I also, as Greg was just saying, what I think is so important, as uh, someone I know it's Kuzhushko, we all know it's Kuzhushko, but I do hear so many times people go, Kazuyushko, and I go, wait, it's Kuzhushko! <laughs> so now, not only will they be able to be making sure they're saying Kuzhushko, they will not only know that there's a great bridge, but there's also a great man and a great face behind it and a great story and someone who resonates all cultures, all creeds, because that is who he represented. I also hope that young people, as you talked about education, because it is so pivotal that young people, not just Polish Americans, but that all Americans learn about this great man. Because America would not be on the map if it were not for Thaddeus Kozhushko, what he did in the Battle of Saratoga, the architect that was the turning point of the American Revolutionary War. We, America, owe everything to Thaddeus Kozhushko. West Point owes everything to Thaddeus Kozhushko. And now, as a result of what all of you have done and all of your hard work, so many generations to come are going to learn about this great hero. On a personal note, 
the first Warsaw Uprising Memorial, as many of you know, is only a few blocks away from here. And there are many faces on there that mean a lot to me, but there are two in particular. One of Julian Kolsky, who was one of the great Warsaw Uprisers ever. He just recently passed away. He was like a second father to me, so it was a gut punch. And I'm so honored that his face is up there. The other one, of course, is my father. And my father was so proud to fight for Poland. He was part of the Warsaw Uprising, part of the 63 Days of Glory. And I remember when my father was sharing his story and why he was ready to die and fight for this great country, Poland, and his second homeland of America. He would always tell me that one of the greatest inspirations for him was Thaddeus Kaziuszko. So in honor of my father, in honor of this great country that we love, Poland, and our second homeland, America, God bless America, God bless the homeland of heroes, and God bless Thaddeus Kaziuszko. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Rita. Thank you. Polish community has a lot of statues that are dedicated to fighters. Uh, the Warsaw Uprisers, Tadeusz Kościuszko was a general and a soldier. Pulaski was a soldier. And I guess the fighting spirit runs in our veins, in our blood. We were the first to fight the Nazis in World War II and uh, first to fight literally anybody that tried to conquer us, you know, in Europe or, or here. And uh, that fighting spirit, that fighting uh, gene, uh, is very much manifested in our next speaker, who is, uh, was fighting in the streets of New York and battling for votes just recently. But uh, he's, uh, he's one of our heroes. We almost had a first Polish mayor in New York City, but he's a true fighter, not since yesterday, not since a decade ago, since he was here, he made his name, name known. So, Curtis Siba, we welcome you here. And, uh, Yeah, and I also fight yellow cabs. So. <laughs> Even though the yellow cab broke my elbow a few days before the election, uh, I was more concerned about the yellow cab. And I could have swore that the driver behind the wheel was Bill de Blasio. I could have swore. I could have swore that. Well, you're right. I've been a fighter, and I'll continue to be a fighter. Uh, let me just give tribute to my wife, Nancy, as you know, who along with uh, yourself, myself, we raised 17 rescue cats in a small studio apartment on the Upper West Side, but she's a daughter of Greenpoint, having been born and raised here. Uh, her maiden name was Regula, both her father, who was from Poland, and her mother were Polish, and so was emerging with part of my family, which many of you know is part Polish, on my father's side, Chester. And I can remember, as little children like yourself who were gathered here, going every year to Chicago, to visit with my grandfather Anton and my grandmother Wanda and all of the brothers of my father, Chester. They lived on the south side of Chicago, which was all Polish at the time, 46th and Rockwell, on a four-story walk-up. And I remember sitting around the table and my grandfather Anton, who had worked his way across America to Chicago, who was looking, looking for residents from his town of Limanova which is the highlands near the Czechoslovakian border, got recruited right before World War I into the United States Cavalry. And you know why? Because the U.S. Army said, oh, you're Polish. You're going to join the Pulaski Cavalry. My grandfather Anton said, I never rode a horse in my life. He said, oh, you're lying, you're lying. All Polish people know how to ride horses. So they sent him to France. He got on a horse. He fell off it. He broke his shoulder. The sergeant said, I guess you weren't lying. Here's the gun, go into the trench. He got trench foot, must have get poisoning, almost died, came home, sat at the table there in Chicago, and looked at my grandmother and his four sons, and he goes, boy, it's great to be an American. This is the best place in the world to be. And you see, that's the, the spirit that Poles have always brought to America. But unfortunately, we don't recognize Pulaski, and especially Kosciuszko, on a day in which President Joe Biden will sign the infrastructure bill in which we're going to spend over $1 trillion. Who is the father of engineering in America? Kosciuszko. Did you ever learn about that in school? I certainly didn't. And none of the young men and women going through our school system now, whether it's Catholic school, parochial school, charter school, public schools, are learning that. Did they ever teach about Pulaski? 
No, never. I had to learn from my grandfather, Anton, from my grandmother, Wanda, and from my father, Chester. That's because part of my family was Polish. Had I not had a Polish side of my family, I would never have known of the great contributions that these Polish men made in coming to our country at a time of need and fighting for freedom. Without Pulaski and Kosciuszko, we would be now having a Union Jack flag of England and we'd be bowing to the Queen. And yet that's never taught in our schools. It needs to be taught in our schools. Kosciuszko is exiled not only because he fought for America's freedom here, but he also fought for the French Revolution. And those who were part of the power and the elite said, we must crush this man. We cannot allow people like Kosciuszko actually persevere. Well, guess what? History indicates, and that's why it needs to be taught to every one of our children, that Kosciuszko, Kosciuszko, see that? I fell into the trap, Kosciuszko. Kosciuszko prevailed, and that the royalty fell to the wayside because of actions like him, who believed that every man, every woman should have freedom, should not be oppressed, should not have their ability to exercise rights determined by their class system. Remember back then there were serfs, there were people who were indentured servants, close to slavery. This man fought against that. So I want to exalt him. I want to exalt Pulaski. I want them to be known, and I want to support your efforts, especially here in Greenpoint, to make sure that we turn it into Little Polonia. We have tours for tourists coming into New, City, New York City, who soon will be doing that once the uh, lockdown and pandemic is over. And we move into nearby Maspeth and Middle Village, and Glendale, and Ridgewood, where there is a growing Polish-American population, and we teach Americans and tourists and foreigners of the greatness of the Polish-American spirit, because if we don't do it, it's not going to be done in our schools, it's not going to be done to the visitors, it's not going to be done to other Americans. So know this, you'll have Curtis Lee with a kick around, because I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be fighting for New York residents fighting here in America, and most importantly, fighting for Polish Americans so that Kosciuszko Pulaski and our other great heroes are understood for what they did in their lives and how they're role models for all of us. Thanks for having us here today. Remember, I'm not a fair weather friend. I want to thank all the Polish Americans. I looked at the stats, Robert Holden. They came out in mass. That's why I won Middle Village. I won Glendale. I won Maspeth. I don't know about Greenpoint with all the hipsters and millennials. But you came out in force for me. I will never forget you. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I feel like the fight just only begun with you. It was just a little warmer for Curtis Siva because he never gave up with the Guardian Angels, with whatever you did. Uh, it's been decades of tradition with your name attached to it. So I believe this is the start of something beautiful uh, with the changes that are happening, with Kosciuszko going up, other monuments unfortunately going down. Uh, but maybe the next step would be including the education, like you said, into the booth. And uh, I think the momentum is here. The Little Poland uh, Heritage Trail in Greenpoint is here. And I, I thank you, Curtis, for being and supporting all of those ideas. And I, I believe we have something great going on. And it will uh, hope you bear more fruits in the future. Thank you again, Curtis. So uh, uh, we have you know, just a couple more speakers. And uh, as you know, we are standing next to a bridge, Kosciuszko was a great bridge between Poland and United States because he fought in the United States for American freedom, he fought for the Polish freedom, he was that bridge. Uh, we have two bridges with Polish names, Pulaski and Kosciuszko connecting neighborhoods in Brooklyn and Queens, but the organization, the company that is a real physical bridge in modern age uh, is the po Polish Lot Airlines. They transport people from Poland to America and vice versa, and they are the bridge between Poland and the United States, and we are very fortunate to have the CEO of Polish Lot Airlines straight from Warsaw being here with, um, on this uh, special occasion. So Rafał Milczarski, I'd like to invite you to say a couple of words. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, all the distinguished people here, all the speakers before. 
my heart is truly filled with joy when I see all of you uh, united with one cause of Polishness maintaining and celebrating Polishness and the Polish-American connection. And this is what we do as well. We, Los Polish Airlines, uh, we are one of the oldest airlines in the world, uh, and we maintain the bridge for all the Polish-Americans to go back home and for all the Poles to come back to, to go to America without a visa, finally. Uh, we are a member of the visa waiver program. And I'm so proud to be here among, among you because Polonia, the Polish Americans, are really in the heart of Lot. We are always and, and always will be for you. Wherever you are, where, wherever things that are, that are important for you are happening. And I'm, I'm very, very, very proud that I have the privilege to, to be here today with you. Uh, I have to say, General Tadeusz Kościuszko, is a very important person for me personally. Um, he is a hero of the United States, and he's also a great hero of Poland. He has come back from the United States of America to Poland to fight for, the, for maintaining of Poland's independence. In 1791, on the 3rd of May, 1791, the Polish parliament passed the Constitution, which was the second Constitution in the world, the second after the American Constitution, but the first Constitution in Europe. And it was about freedom and liberty, and it was so revolutionary that actually the neighboring powers, Prussia, Russia, and Austria, decided to crush this land of freedom li and liberty because it, it was too dangerous for their autocratic, non-democratic, uh, authoritarian governance systems. Poland, not many people know this, but Poland is the first modern democracy after the ancient Greek democracy in Europe. We started electing our kings in 1593. That is before even the revolution in in, the, in, 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 in England, the Cromwell Revolution. And we continued electing the kings uh, until Poland finally fell. And in the final chapter of, of the of fight for Poland for maintaining the, the freedom of liberty and independence of Poland, because after 1772, the first partition of Poland, constitution was passed, there was program of fundamental social reform, and General Kosciuszko came in the final chapter to try and save Poland. And he was a very important uh, hero and, and leader. And he was joined by very many serfs. Serfs who would be almost like slaves uh, in, in, in some of the landowners' lands. Uh, but they chose to join his army and fight for the independence of Poland because of the promises of freedom for all and liberty for all that Kosciuszko, General Kosciuszko stood for. Unfortunately, because of the Targowica Confederation and the invasion and the subsequent invasion of Poland by the 100,000 strong Russian army, um, that proved impossible. The, the, the brute force uh, of the oppressors was too strong to resist it. But it is one of the most beautiful and heroic chapters of Polish history and it's certainly one of the most important seeds of liberty that was implanted very deeply into the hearts of, and minds of all Polish people. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, Poland now stands for liberty and freedom. Poles love liberty and freedom, which is why Poles have such a special relationship with the United States of America, because you also stand for liberty, liberty and freedom. And let us stand for those values together. And I'm so proud and humble to be able to connect these two great countries as Lot Polish Airlines. So always, please be our guest, and we'll also always be for you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. And I believe Lot Airlines is a plane name after Kosciuszko, right? Isn't that true? Yes. There is a plane named Kosciuszko, so uh, great. 
Do you want to? Okay, so <laughs> maybe we, next time you need for the unveiling of a new or blessing of the new Kosciuszko plate. Great idea. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, one of our um, uh, speakers, uh, the next speaker is Mary Odomir, who represents Congressman Maloney. Uh, Mary? <coughs> Thank you. The Congressman, of course, she couldn't be here, but uh, we have Mary to say a couple of words on her behalf. Thank you very much. She could not be here today, but she wanted to make sure that I read a statement since she represents this wonderful Polish community. I want to extend my thanks to the Kosciuszko Foundation and the Polacki Association of Business and Professional Men. Both organizations have been steadfast in their dedication to promoting Polish education, culture, and well-being. Today we have an opportunity to commemorate General Thaddeus Kosciuszko beneath a bold, innovative work of infrastructure that carries his name. General Kosciuszko's skilled military engineering delivered key victories in the American Revolutionary War. His role in the birth of our country was transformative and still echoes today. The Kosciuszko Bridge stands as a testament to his legacy. Congresswoman Maloney is proud to have secured $670 million in federal money towards the bridge's new completion. This new monument joins in honoring not only General Kosciuszko, but in continuing, contrib the continuing contributions of Poles and Polish Americans in our grateful city and country. Thank you very much on behalf of Congresswoman Maloney. Thank you so much, Mary, and thank you for uh, your presence here. It really means a lot to us. Thank you so much. Uh, we have one more speaker, Mr. Richard Brzozowski, who's a World War II veteran. Uh, he's 90. He stopped counting after 90, but he's a uh, member of the Polaski Association of Business, uh, probably one of the longest members of our association, and he also represents the Polish American Congress in Long Island. So, uh, Richard, if you could please say a couple of words. Although I am a Long Islander since 1960. Good afternoon. I'm very pleased to be here this afternoon. And although I'm a Long Island since 1960, I did grow up and my roots are in Greenpoint. Uh, it was a uh, a pleasure to be able to grow up in Greenpoint as a Polish American. I do remember very vividly being here as an eight-year-old on the opening of the bridge, and it's a fond memory. And I'm very pleased to be here today and to say thank you to all of those who are instrumental in putting together this event and putting up the bridge. Jestem bardzo wdzięczny, że Polonia się tak zgłosiła na te opody. Dziękuję serdecznie wszystkim. All right, uh, we are almost uh, drawing towards the end of this ceremony, uh, but uh, we have uh, two artists, one Polish artist and one American artist, to give us uh, two more elements of, uh, of our um, uh, today's ceremony at the end. We have Stan Boris. Uh, he's a you know, very renowned singer, uh, Polish celebrity singer. He's just been uh, awarded by the Minister of Culture with the Special Artistic Award. And he will recite a poem by uh, Cyprian Kamil Norwid for our ending ceremony. Sorry, and I'm not going to be singing after my 60s tonight. Szanowni Państwo, czuję się zaszczycony, będąc tutaj w tej 
tej sprawy, w tej nomie polskiej razem z tak wspaniałą publicznością, jaką wy jesteście. Dziękuję bardzo za zaproszenie. My speech is gonna be in Polish. W związku z tym, że czuję się zaszczycony, bo z jednej strony mamy Bridge of Freedom, Tadeusz Kościuszko Bridge, a z drugiej strony mamy ten pomnik. Dzisiaj czujemy się bardzo, bardzo polscy i dziękuję bardzo, że mogę brać w tym udział. Czuję się żołnierzem Kościuszki. W moich młodych latach byłem w armii. Pierwsza dywizja imienia Tadeusza Kościuszki. Myślę, że ten poetycki dzień tutaj z tymi dwoma symbolami wspaniałymi pomnika Kościuszki również ja przypomnę następny symbol polskości, którym jest Cyprian Kamil Norwid. Miałem takie szczęście, że dosłownie półtora miesiąca temu byłem w Warszawie. Występowałem w Teatrze Wielkim. Miałem zaszczyt recytować jeden z poematów Norwida. A wielka gala w Teatrze Wielkim odbyła się z okazji 200, 200 rocznicy urodzenia urodzin Cypriana Kamila Norwida. Wiersz Cyprian Kamil Norwid, tytuł Czy podam się o amnestię? Gdy już poczułem, że spod mojej stopy Usuwała się ziemia Europy i albo morza zostawały głębie, albo azjackie łaska ambasady. Ja odleciałem, jak czynią głębie, wężą i płazą zostawując zdrady. Więc nie pytajcie mnie, czyli powrócę, więc nie pytajcie mnie, gdzie się podzieje. Jam z tych poetów, co nie słówka nucę. Ja to, co śpiewam, żyję i boleję. I każdy wiersz ten miałem w mojej dłoni, jak okrętową linę w czasie burzy, kiedym się do was uśmiechał z nad toni, a wy mnie nęcić chcecie listkiem róży? Schowajcie sobie te niewczesne kwiaty, i skarż się raczej, że zły, żem się zaciął, że nie chce współczuć własnej i was straty. Bo ja mnie zdradził, nawet nie przyjaciół. Brawo! Thank you, Stan. That was really beautiful and deep. Thank you. You are a legend. Thank you, Stan, so much. For the ending of our ceremony, we will have Mr. Tomasz Budnarek sing God Bless America. But before we do that, I want to thank everyone again for coming. I want to thank the Polish schools. I believe we have the Polish schools from Greenpoint here, from Greenpoint, from Manhattan, from Masnet, from Yonkers. So thank you all the teachers who are educating our kids about Kościuszko, because like Curtis said, this is the only source that they can actually learn about our heroes uh, and hopefully when they come over here, they can educate others uh, about who this great man is and was. Uh, I want to thank uh, Polonia Technica. I see the banner over here. Thank you guys for showing up. Uh, I want to thank all of our friends from Belarus. You guys are over there fighting for your freedom. So uh, just, to, just as a reminder, Krzysztof was born in uh, territories of Belarus. He was Poland, but it was it's actually his native home is in Belarus right now. So uh, thank you for being here with us, our Belarusian friends. I want to thank the Harcerstwo, the Polish scouts, uh, Ms. Mirabielski, Zygmunt, uh, and all of the wonderful scouts that uh, are showing up to all of our ceremonies. Uh, thank you so much. Of course, the Polaski cadets from, from, from New Jersey. Thank you so much. We got the Polish American Congress from Michigan, even. Uh, the representative uh, is here. So thank you, the Polish American Congress from Long Island, from Michigan. Uh, hopefully, we can grow the Brooklyn division even stronger at one point. We have two grand marshals of the Polaski Day. Three, actually. Actually, we have probably more. Four. <laughs> well, if I probably look over there, we're probably going to find more. But uh, 
Curtis Sliva was the Grand Marshal. Artur Dibanovsky, Grand Marshal. Michael Plary, our Grand Marshal of the Pulaski Day Parade. Just recently, Yaja Kopala. The still is. She's still wearing the, the sad. And uh, we have uh, Marcin Lutz, our newly elected Grand Marshal of the 2020 Pulaski Day Parade. He's somewhere here with us. So, oh, there he is. <laughs> 2022. Yeah, 2022. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Uh, and, you know, of course, the Polish Islamic Credit Union, uh, the Polish Islamic Center. There's going to be some great things happening at the center, I heard. So, uh, Marian Zag is the guy that's going to be running the Polish Islamic Center. So, we are looking towards a bright future for that center. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, uh, you know, Kosciuszko Foundation, Marek, we already acknowledged, but, you know, your efforts and uh, the, the job we are doing. You know, my son goes to school over here, and I learned that uh, one of the teachers uh, came from Poland that educates the teachers in America, the American school system, how to teach Polish and the Polish culture. And he's, uh, she's, uh, she's paid by, uh, by the Kosciuszko Foundation. She, she received $1 million every year they give to Polish uh, um, uh, grants and uh, scholarship uh, uh, events. So uh, thank you for the for for Kosciuszko Foundation, everything that you do for Polish education. Harteze. Krakowianki, of course. Uh, and Gurale, thank you so much. Uh, the Polish American Soldiers Company, I know that uh, members of that organization are here. Uh, <coughs> again, all of the elected officials, members of the media, Radio Rampa, Nowy Dziennik, uh, TVP Polonia, TVP Poland, came all the way from Washington, Polskie Radio. Uh, you guys are doing a wonderful job uh, because, you know, there's a not a lot of Polish media left, so... Uh, the world can hear about those events like that thanks to, to, your, to your work. So thank you so much. Uh, of course, all of the members of Polaski Association of Business, I see you guys everywhere, so thank you. Uh, yes, where are the bikers? Hey, the, we got the, uh, the Polish Fusaria, Grzegorz Kogut, everybody. Thank you, bikers, for coming, not only here, but for making a lot of noise at the Polaski Parade. And all over, so the, the Polish power is heard. <laughs> of course, we got the Polish Youth Association, Jakub Stanievski, uh, the future. There, there they are. <laughs> Thank you. The Polish Youth Association, Jakub, uh, they've been very heavily involved with the Polish American Vote Initiative that we started in that spring. Uh, and we had uh, a lot of conferences. Curtis was invited to one of the conferences in Greenpoint. Thank you for showing up. And of course, all the media, the Council General, help us create that initiative, but uh, we are actually collecting votes because uh, I'm going to take a moment to talk about this. Uh, if you haven't signed up for the Polish American Vote Initiative, please leave your name, your email, and your phone number so we have contact with you. If you are eligible to vote, we want to contact you, so this way we can kind of suggest and tell you what the elected officials are doing and who is sympathizing with the Polish community, with the Polish cause, because we need more Polish votes. And they are here, but they are just not organized and not uh, officially put to work. So the Polish American Vote Initiative uh, is being happening like right now. The, the volunteers are collecting the signatures. If you can sign up for that, uh, that's great. Uh, I want to thank the SPAP, uh, the Polish um, the veterans. Uh, also, uh, thank you, Mr. Altonio, for being here. This is an organization started by uh, Paderewski in, uh, you know, after before World War I, uh, but an organization that has also put out a lot of monuments in the world, including the Monte Cassino General Anders Monument, and a lot of monuments in Poland and in New York City as well. So thank you for all your contributions and the great job you're doing with the veterans. Uh, everybody, for being here, we really appreciate your support. You've been witnessing a very historical moment. Like I mentioned before, this is uh, probably uh, one of the most glorious days in the history of Polonia and New York City. And today we have officially welcomed Tadeusz Kościuszko to Brooklyn and to New York City because he has a statue in New York State at West Point which he helped to uh, build, and this is the oldest statue of Kosciuszko in the world. So right now in New York State, we have the oldest statue of Kosciuszko in the world and the newest statue of Kosciuszko in the world. So uh, we are really doing a great job. And again, John Lento, uh, Pulaski Association of Business, Department of Transportation, and Pulaski Association of Business, thank you for making this happen for us and for the whole Polonia. Thank you. So without further ado, Chris, if you're ready, we want to start with God Bless America. Let's welcome Tomaszek Bednarek, uh, an accomplished artist. He sang with Frank Sinatra, by the way, this guy, if you didn't know. 
Double check, let us go. All right, crew. We must never forget that we are the land of the free because we are the home of the brave. Our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters, they stood strong for our nation. And Thaddeus de Justo, Thaddeus de Justo was critical in every single turn. We hold them dear and we thank God for that. God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her. Through the night, by the light, up above. for this nation. We have been ever blessed for the light of God. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you, Thomas Jake. Let's give another round of applause to Thomas Jake Bednarik. And he knows coming Bednarik, by the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's take some pictures. Uh, if I can have the uh, colonels, the elected officials, all of our speakers, stand by this, Rita, Thomas Jake, please stand in front of the money. We're going to take some, give some time for the media. Please, just the speakers uh, for now.
prosimy tak się troszeczkę może rozszerzyć i wtedy zrobimy sobie wszyscy zdjęcia. Dzieci zapraszamy wszystkie, tylko musicie troszeczkę... Ta. Dzieci do przodu zapraszamy. Krzysiu, daj mi wireless. Gracias. 